uh, Tuerto Ejo uh, for the boy who harnessed the wind. Uh, this is your first directorial feature film directorial debut. Yeah, uh, and you wrote and starred in this film. That's I mean, right. Can you talk about that process? You know. Yeah, I mean, it was it was um, it was a kind of incremental process. You right. Know? I didn't uh, I didn't start out to do that right. exactly. Um, but I read the book in uh, William Kampwamba's memoir in about uh, 2009, just 2009, 2010, just when it came out. And, um, you know, I was just stunned by it. I just thought it was uh, an incredible story. I thought what he did was unbelievable, you right. know, in, those, in the circumstances that he was in, in Malawi in 2001, 2002. And I thought that the whole kind of um, structural story of uh, of malawi of the family dynamics you know of the environmental dynamics all of it was deeply moving and powerful and um, inspirational and optimistic right. and um and so i you know began the process of getting the rights to the to the to the book and then um beginning to adapt the screenplay and then in that process after i had done the first draft really and started to bring people on board producerially for, um, for the sort of development of the film. Right. Um, I went out to Malawi to meet everybody there, to meet William Kamkwamba, to meet his family, to you know start to understand the community more and, um, uh, and to get a real sense of that. And it was really in that process, I think, you know, maybe it was in the back of my mind before, but I think it was in that process of going out to Malawi that I started to make slightly more visual decisions about the look and the feel of the story and the film and um, and and sort of deciding to to direct as well. And I noticed, you know, the film was actually significantly subtitled. Uh, you guys spoke to Chewa, if I'm not mistaken, in the yeah. Malay Malawian language. You know, why was that important to have it subtitled? Well, I really wanted the audience to be able to go into a kind of authentic private space, you know, right. uh, and it was something that I hadn't really seen in sort of the westernized version of African landscapes and places, you know, okay. and I and I thought that, that the, the matching of a kind of westernized cinematic style mm -hmm. with the epic scale of an African life, you know, and a Malawian life in this right. case, but, um, right. you know, was something that could match very, very well, very sort of have a really strong, dramatic, epic input. You know, there's something always quite intrusive, I think, in a, in a weird way, when mm -hmm. an audience is aware that people are speaking English only because of the audience. Right. You, know, you sort of become sort of self-referenced right. right. when you're watching something right. in that dynamic. I right. mean, that's for me, that's my own sort Makes of taste. Sense. You know, um, you know, in the village, at home, in those, in that dynamic, in those private spaces, of course, people speak to Chewa. So, right. so I wanted to bring that, that, that element and invite people into that private dynamic and then realize, um, you know, or to experience that world and understanding that world with the knowledge of the, the being that specific really actually brings out the universality of that experience. Zita Kutaka Ngati Mungandi Tandizi. What 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 is the most compelling thing, or what is it that you want people to take away from this story? Uh, you know, how do you want people to experience this journey? Well, I think it's um, you know, obviously at its heart, it's this sense of optimism, this sense of hopefulness that there is a um, you know what William Kamkwamba demonstrated to me is this sense of living in the solution. Mm -hmm. that we can carry on identifying all of the problems and it's useful to identify the problems but we can't live in the problems you know what William did was take that next step he mm -hmm. identified the solution and decided to live in the solution and mm -hmm. I think that's a great lesson that's that's very important I think that the, you know 
it's it's almost like social impact uh, of filmmaking, right? Because I mean, there, this film will inspire many others like William uh, to f- look in their own communities and look at the solutions to many of the challenges. That well, William facing. himself, William Kamkwamba himself, is doing that. You right. know? So he's building this innovation center in Malawi, right. and that is to help and assist young people with the issues that they identify in their communities, and the and to assist them with the solutions that they come up with, okay. and to help them achieve those solutions. And so to work with people in communities as equal partners. Uh, to find solutions that are long term, and so um, to problems that they identify, and that right. is that is crucial. Right. You know that, that the energy comes from them as they see and live in the communities and the challenges that they face. And you know we're seeing that more on the continent of Africa, which is you know Africans taking ownership of their own issues and finding solutions as opposed to looking externally. And I think William is an embodiment of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you you, you know, we know that you're going to be playing. Uh, voice of Scar ah. <laughs> in The Lion King. I don't know how much of that you can talk about. Not much. <laughs> but what, you know, what was that like? Uh, because I, is that the first time you've done voice character? Uh, no, I've done voice characters before. Okay. Uh, and it's very exciting, you know, but broadly, you know, the, um, all of that was incredible, you know, and, um, you know, obviously like everybody else, I'm just really deeply excited to, you know, I'm first in, I'm first in line, basically. I'm <laughs> right. Excited to see, you know, the finished thing and right. to see it all. You know, I saw the trailer. I haven't seen much. You haven't more seen than, the film. The I haven't seen the film. No, okay. I haven't seen much more than anybody else. So okay. I'm just, you know, you know, I'm really thrilled about it and, you know, really excited. You know, I think it's great for, you know, it's such an important part of me in my childhood growing up. Right. And my you know, sort of generation, and I think my generation will be excited about this new version, but also obviously this whole new generation. Right. And bringing this kind of version of The Lion King to a whole new generation, I think is really exciting. You'll be forever scar for a new generation. Oh, new. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that film, I mean, we all remember The Lion King, and uh, yeah. it'll be interesting to see. Are you, any nerves at all? Are you nervous? I'm just excited, I think. Okay. You know, very. And so, you know, I ask a couple of questions about Nollywood. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you watch a lot of Nollywood films, uh, but what do you think about that industry? Uh, what do you think it's missing? Where do you think it can go? Uh, what are you most excited about when you think about Nollywood as an industry? Well, I think that, you know, I, I feel like Nollywood has uh, an awful lot of potential to really um, continue to grow and expand. I think that there are indications you know Lionheart you know is, right. is one Genevieve right. which was I think a really beautiful job that she did mm-hmm. uh, with the film and um, you know uh, Peter Dottier is in the right. film as well which I, right. and I thought he was right. absolutely phenomenal right. and um, he's a friend of my family's as well and so uh, I think that there's there's great actors in Hollywood you know and that kind of that sort of template of what Genevieve did really right. shows right. where it can go right. um, obviously I spent some time shooting half of a yellow sun in Calabar. So, right. um, you know, so, I mean, it's not strictly speaking a Nollywood film, if you like, but it just shows that that kind of infrastructural reality is kind of going to be possible there for, for bigger films and bigger budgets. And so I'm excited about the, um, about the, the, the future of that and okay. the possibilities of that. Thank you so much, Yoto. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.